So I wanted to show you um, a science program for a second grader. It is called Patterns of Nature and it is by Rod and Staff. Rod and Staff is a Mennonite company. Um, you can purchase their materials at milestonebooks.com but um, this is the teacher's manual. You can see it's just an answer key and that is it. And this is the student's book. It's just a workbook. And this is all you need for the set for the whole year. Um, it's $10.40 for both of these together. Um, the one I'm going to show you today is actually from my oldest back when she was in second grade. Um, she actually colored in it, <laughs> so it looks a little, you know, it's colorful. Whereas my current second grader, she didn't color any of it. So this one's, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to show you this one. Um, okay. Let me show you the table of contents in here, if it has one. I don't remember. Okay, this one is copyrighted 1982. Okay, the table of contents, it has 30 lessons. Okay, lesson 30 is actually a review and a test. But, um, you know, each lesson, like lesson 1, is on the seasons. Then you have seeds, weeds and wildflowers, trees, the plants we eat, then uh, 6 is a review and test, 7 is farm animals, the zoo, pets, mammals in winter, winter birds, then another review and test, the stars, the moon, the sun, the weather, water, a review and test, 10 common insects, the life story of an insect, insect homes, insects and the seasons, insects and man, review and test, buds, wildflowers in spring, songbirds, seed germination, pond life, and then the review and test. So, um, you know, you could do a lesson, like once a week, and this would basically last you, you know, for most of, for pretty much all the school year. So, um, so we had done this, both of my girls, when they were in second grade, done this. And then we also done, um, Rod and Staff, Rod and Staff's health as well. Um, I will show you that in another video. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you what the lessons are like. <clears throat> so here is lesson one. And each lesson is set up just like this. You are given a picture and the child can color it. Um, you're given a picture and you're given a Bible verse up here. And then you're given, you know, um, sometimes it's a story, but mainly it's just, you know, reading. Um, the words that are in italics, you know, are words the kid needs to pay attention to because they'll probably be using them in the questions. Okay, so the child would read this, and the rest of the reading ends on the next page. Okay? And then you have some questions to go over it. And that would be the end of the first lesson. And again, this is lesson two now. So you have this cute little drawing that you get to color. And it's over seeds, so you have a Bible verse. And then um, a reading about seeds. And here's the end of the reading. And then questions to answer. You know, and then um, you need to match the seeds to where they come from. Lesson three, weeds and wildflowers. So you have these you know, nice, pretty accurate drawings of weeds and wildflowers. Alright, I do want to say that at the end of each school year, I always go through all the work they did, even their workbooks, and um, I will tear out, you know, certain lessons. I'll turn out, um, I'll tear out several from the whole book. I'll tear out a few from the first part, a few from the last part, and then a few from the middle. Um, however, I could not do it to this book. Um, mainly, well, it was several reasons, but mainly because um, it's these drawings are pretty, pretty accurate um, for the wildflowers and then, like, the birds. 
and here's some more wildflowers. Um, and there was something else on here. Oh, constellations. Um, but the drawings are so accurate. And because of this lesson right here, lesson three, my daughter that was in second grade at the time, she was able to pick these out. Like, you know, just out in the woods, out in the field. She said, hey, that's a goldenrod. Hey, Mom, that's a thistle. And so I was like, this can almost just be like a little, you know, little mini, like, field guide. So, um, we just, I just left it whole, intact, and I just filed it away with her, um, portfolio that year. Okay. So, once again, you know, you have, um, the reading selection for Weeds and Wildflowers, and you have the work. And here's another page. Um, for pictures of it, get the roots and stuff. And then lesson four is over trees. So again, you have um, a picture. And this lesson, um, I remember doing this with her. It actually, you know, it, it tells you the difference between a cedar and a spruce and a pine and a fir. It tells you like um, how they feel and how many little needles are on each one. Um, anyway, so we were able to tell, you know, if it was a, which, you know, pine trees are pretty obvious to tell, but um, spruce and fir are not very easy for us to tell around here. We have a lot of pine trees and cedar trees, but not too many spruce and fir, so <clears throat> we were able to learn the difference. So that was, was really nice. This is the reading selection. Then you have the questions. And something else I done different between my two children. My oldest, when she done this, yes, I graded every single lesson. You know, because we only done it once a week. So I did grade it. My second, my current second grader, I bet out of the whole book I probably only graded two, maybe three. They're just so different. But, and plus, you know, the lo more kids you have and the longer you've been homeschooling, you tend to rela relax a little bit. You're not so, you know, legalistic as you were with your oldest one. <clears throat> okay, and then here's a review. So every six lessons is a review. And then you have a test after that, a test of everything you've learned for those first six lessons. Alright, and then you have farm animals. Now I'm just going to flip through like this. This book is pretty much self-contained. No. You can see these little animal tracks that they gave her some, then she had to finish them off. So, draw them in. Okay, <clears throat> so this book is self-contained. Um, towards the end, there are a few activities, like for the seed germination one, there's a, you know, where you actually germinate some seeds. There's also for the bud activities, um, activity, you go in the springtime and you cut off the end of a, you know, twig where it has the bud on it and you put it in water in your, um, house and the child can actually, you know, watch the bud open, um, they nay off the parts of it, what's covering the bud, they can feel the texture of it, it was really neat, um, I believe they also give you an activity to make a bird feeder out of an orange. Like you um, cut an orange in half and, you know, scoop out all that stuff and then you put um, bird seed in the middle. Now, I could be wrong. Um, the book either said to do that or that was just something that we done on our own. I don't remember. This has been three years ago since she done this. But now we're getting to the end.
<clears throat> and some bird houses. She also learned. I mean, she, and this is stuff that she still remembers. Some of it. What what she liked out of this, she still remembers. Pond life. And this is the last test. Okay. Um, back here, you will see I tore out several pages. Just a second. Let me get my current second graders book. All right. I was wanting to show you that we tore out several pages here, and I wanted you to see what they were, so I got my se current second graders book, because we didn't tear any of these out. Um, she just was not into this like my oldest was, so that's why, you know, we didn't do any of the tests in here. Um, most of the questions, I just had her verbally answer them to me. You can see she didn't color. Um, so, anyway, okay, so in the back of the book, or the student's book, they give you, um, some paper crafts to make, so this one here would go with Lesson 8, and it's for zoo animals, this one would also go with Lesson 8, and this one would go with Lesson 10, which is pets, I believe, this one would go with Lesson 11, and this would go with Lesson 27. Okay, so those are the um, little extra paper activities that the book also contains, and these are just some things that um, she drew to go with each lesson, like this was for Lesson 19. She also had to write about the bud. And this is for Lesson 17. Okay. So that was the student's workbook. And this is the teacher's guide, teacher's manual. And it is just the answers. It tells you the table of contents. And the teacher's manual is copyrighted 1982. Let's see, you have Lesson 1, the seasons. It tells you what the purpose of the lesson is, new words, how to teach the lesson, and it gives you the answers here. Same thing for lesson two. And then there's lesson three. And lesson four. And so on. You know, it just, basically just the answers. So, but I just wanted to share that with you for those of you that, you know, might be looking for a second grade simple science course. Um, there you go. The next video I do will be over Rod and Staff's health for a second.